Hearing the doorbell ring and being told that you're a grand prize winner, but beware. As Local 12's troubleshooter Howard Ain shows us, there are many criminals out there using well-known names to try to steal your money. We've all heard of Publishers Clearinghouse and thieves know that. That's why they continue to pretend to be that company in order to convince people to pay for their big prize. They were telling me that I was the winner on Publishers Clearinghouse. Mary Wildman admits she was elated when the voice on her phone said she won two and a half million dollars and a new Mercedes. To receive this prize, you're going to have to pay the taxes, which amounts to $499.25. So you need to go to the bank. They said she needed to go immediately. Time was of the essence for her to get this money to them so they could deliver her prizes. So Mary and her husband go to the local grocery store with the Western Union inside. I hand her the cash and tell her I want to send it to this person. She looks at me and she says, I don't think you want to do this. Well, I knew I didn't want to do it, but I was doing it anyway. Mary insisted the $500 was sent. Then she was told she would need to send $5,000 more to pay for the insurance for the car. I knew all along this is crazy, and yet I could not control what I was doing. It was like they had a spell on me that I could not break. Mary sent cash via express mail. When she left, she had a sinking feeling in her stomach. Mary called Publishers Clearing House directly and learned this was all a fraud. She called police and her postmaster trying to track her package with the cash inside. As opposed to so many other sweepstakes victims, Mary got good news. And he hands me my envelope. I have never cried so hard in my life. When he says open it and count it, my $5,950 was in there. And I was never so grateful for anything in my life because I could not believe at that point the fool I had made of myself by believing these lies. Postal inspectors say Mary got caught up and fell prey to the false sense of urgency they create. Anybody that wants to send it express is lying to you and it's an attempt to steal your money and do it in a way that you're not going to be able to recover it. Bottom line here is remember, you never have to pay to win a prize. If you're told you have to pay something, stop because you know it's definitely a scam. Howard Ain, Local 12 Troubleshooter.